Joining us on stage right now, Aisha is going to read an essay that she wrote about her grandmother in grade four. And what you need to know is that Aisha's grandmother passed away last November. So this was an opportunity to reflect back on this particular essay. Uh, and her brother, two of her cousins, and Aisha all read it together. She's going to share it one more time because it was her grandmother's birthday this month. Please welcome Aisha to our stage. A person of inspiration. Do you have a hero or a person who inspires you? I do, and I am going to tell you all about her. Margaret Ray was born in Gimli, Manitoba on June 5th, 1925, 92 years ago. She lived on a farm with her parents and four other siblings. She braved cold winters hot and hot summers during the Great Depression. She completed school all the way to grade 10 and then moved to Calgary where she met my gramps and they had three children. The goals that women had back then were to raise children and be a good wife to their husband. My Emma did all of that and more. My grandmother was not a typical hero, but she's one of the people who inspire me the most. She was Icelandic, and my brother and cousins call her Amma, and means grandmother in Icelandic. At 80 years old, she was still one of the most beautiful women that I had ever met. She has every quality a grandmother should have, and that makes her my inspiration. My Amma is kind and loving to everyone. She is an excellent baker, and always gives hugs and kisses when you need them. In fact, if I don't give her a proper hug, she says to me, Aisha, give me a proper Icelandic hug. <laughs> On top of that, she gives delightful gifts and loves to be with her immediate and extended family. Her loving and giving nature makes me want to be like her. Amma likes to make a good impression. She's one of the best dressed ladies that I know. When I see her, she's always wearing a crisp, wrinkle-free outfit and fashionable shoes. Not those shoes that really old ladies wear. No, sir. <laughs> and when Amma walks, she walks tall, with her shoulders square and a look on her face that says, Hello, my life is brilliant, and I am going to tell the world all about it today. <laughs> the perfume that she wears has a light, flowery scent that makes you feel warm and happy inside. Amma has influenced my life in many ways. When I was younger, I loved going shopping with her, going to her house, and having my picture taken. Now that Amma and I are both older, I have serious but important discussions with her. I love these discussions and would hate if we didn't have them. We cover many topics, including life and death. She may not teach out loud, but I watch her actions and I learn from them. One way she has influenced me to be a better person is to be honest with others, but most importantly to myself. Is what, am I, is what I'm doing right? And how will my actions affect other people? She has also taught me not to dwell on sadness and find every bit of light in darkness even when there is none. Amma has influenced my life because she made me feel love, and I am grateful that she took the time to watch me grow up. Thank you. 